There we go. That's right. gone. All right. And <sighs> we're late to the game. Is epilepsy again? You, you know, again. You, you see. Well, you see that warning in so many games. Yeah. But then there are also games where you don't see that warning, and you should. And you definitely should. Yeah. Uh, most recently, it brought up by uh, the cyberpunk problem. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Remember that yeah. uh, reviewer had seizures. Mm, I do remember. <laughs> and that's a shame. Yeah. Because it's like what, that type of stuff should very clearly be communicated. Mm -hmm. It is interesting though that some people decide to and some don't, and there doesn't seem to be any sort of like, because I, I always thought when I saw stuff like that 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 was something that was maybe done by the ESRB, right. where when they reviewed the gameplay footage, they were like, hey, you need to put this warning in front. But apparently it's not. It's I mean, as what you see by the cyberpunk thing, it's just, uh, they just decide to, or they decide not to. Hmm. And... So it's yeah, like, you, you would think there would be something similar to the ESRB, or put in place by the ESRB themselves. Because, I, I mean, even... But then you have to go, like... Because something that I think is very interesting is because there is the ESRB, right? And yeah. we have um, it rates uh, any game that you buy in like a GameStop or a store. Yeah. But then we also have so many games that are independently made nowadays and released on places like HDIO or uh, Steam mm -hmm. that don't get rated by the ESRB. They're just there. Yeah. And it's kind of done in a... that that's It's almost like the same as YouTube does it, where it's almost a good faith thing, where it asks you, you know, what age rating is this mm -hmm. probably for? Yeah. Um, in the same yeah. way, when you upload a YouTube video, it says, is this made for kids or is this not made for kids? And you have to check. Super hentai puzzle adventure rated E for everyone. Yeah, or, um, the, like, the... One of the things that surprised me uh, recently was just learning, like, how fucking weird the Persona games are. Oh, yeah, they're weird. Because I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Persona series. Yeah. Like, pretty much since it's been around, but even more so lately with, like, Persona 5 and... and Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 Golden and uh, just most recently uh, Persona 5 Strikers. Yeah. And, and Joker making his way into Smash. That was pretty big news for a while. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about Smash, but I do know that a lot of people do, and that is, like, mm -hmm. it's interesting, everyone, uh, I, it, it's always cool to see a fan base get excited when their person is represented in Smash Brothers, because it's obviously a very important <laughs> there thing. There are so many others who feel they are not, yeah. and they, oh boy, do they make that shit known. <laughs> that's that's the, the bad side of it that I really don't enjoy. That's one of the bad sides of the Smash community, and there are s a few. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, anytime anyone shows up uh, and they happen to use a sword, everyone just freaks out. Yeah, they're like, oh, another uh, one. Another anime sword fighter. Or um, another, another fire, fire, emblem. fire emblem character. And it is weird, but also, like, it doesn't... You know, it's that, that team's decision. Like, they're a Japanese team. The uh, Sakurai is obviously, like, a very deeply strange individual. Yeah. Um, who, who loves JRPGs, who loves, and those two just tend, tend to go hand in hand. Yeah. Uh, as does, like, really inappropriate content sometimes. Like, that's why it was so surprising that Bayonetta got into Smash, because oh, Bayonetta yeah. has moves that basically, like, all of her clothes fly off, and her hair covers her body, and then see she's super-powered. Yeah. Um, but we can't have Doom Slayer. I think that'd be cool to have Doom Slayer in... <laughs> Again, I have no it's dog smashed. in this race at all. Like, uh, it, for you know, do whatever you want. Like, put um, because they already have uh, they had Solid Snake in Smash Brothers. They right? did, they sure and, did. and Solid Snake has done some of like really, really heinous shit. And so, if you already got that, I mean, just fuck it. Like, if put, yeah, fuck put, it. put put Tommy Versetti in Smash Brothers. Put mm -hmm. um, put Doom Guy. Put uh, 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 Vito Corleone from the Godfather game. <laughs> From the PlayStation 2 Godfather game. Um, you know, it just doesn't matter. And But at the same time, like just because your franchise isn't represented in Smash Brothers, that doesn't mean that it's not good or like it just Right, yeah. It just means that those weirdos don't play it as much. There are other ways to seek validation for your fandom. It's it's called Sony All Stars. <laughs> That. Sony PlayStation All Stars, <laughs> where you can never fight making another one. Parappa the Rapper versus Kratos, Kratos. Yeah, and and Big Big Daddy's in there too. Yeah, mm. yeah, because which you is know, strange to me. Bioshock, uh, a totally PlayStation exclusive franchise. Yeah, 
Yeah, the PlayStation All Stars list. It literally, it's like four or five exclusive, and, and it's a shame too because if they redid that game now, like they're they're probably not. They could though, and they would have a much better assortment of people to choose from. Yeah, like if you take all of the PlayStation exclusives that's come out since that first one. Yeah, like you could have um, a Jin from Ghost of Tsushima in there. Mm. You could have both Spider Man and Miles Morales oh, in yeah. there. Absolutely. You could have uh, obviously like Joel, Ellie, Abby from The Last of Us. You can have new Kratos. New Kratos. You could have old Kratos and, and new Kratos. Kratos. Yeah. 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 And that, like in the same way that you have what like five different versions of Mario in Smash Brothers, you could have Norman Reedus. Oh wait, that you that was that was an exclusive. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so you could have uh, Norman Reedus, <laughs> and uh, just just like branching off of that though, that also means you could have anyone from Death Stranding. Yeah, you can. So have Troy you could, Baker. yeah, just Troy Baker as himself. He would be a much better fighter than Norman Reedus. Let's be honest, because he has all those. Did you play? You didn't play not Death in real Stranding. life. Not not in real life. No, not Troy Baker himself. His character Higgs. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, Troy Baker would probably be a uh, in that game a lot. He would probably voice five or six of the fighters. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it would. It would just be Troy Baker and um, who's the other one? Nolan from North. Nolan North, yeah. It would just be seven of their different voices. <laughs> um, I do love the guy that voices Kratos, though. Oh, yeah. I forget his yeah. name off the top he of my He looks like head. Barry White. He does. He does. Oh, he... I, man, that's just the... Uh, yeah. it's cool. Wasn't he on fucking... What was it? Uh... He was in one of those... Was it Stargate? Was he on one of the Stargates? Uh, I never saw Stargate. Yeah. Um, one of the shows... I, you know who else would be really good in that type of a game? If we're going, like, on the Sony side of it? Keith as opposed, David. Keith David. Just from, as Keith David Keith. from, from uh, Saints Row. Where Keith David well, played himself. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking more of, like, he, he did the voice of Spawn, and he's always oh, good in that. Well, yeah, he would be good in Spawn. But, but see, the thing is that Mortal Kombat kind of did a lot of this already with a lot of those characters. Like, yeah. Kratos was in Mratos. Mortal Kombat 9. He sure was. Um, uh, Kratos, or Spawn was in... This um, recent one, is Mortal it this Kombat one? 11. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to keep But track. he was in Soul Calibur 2 before that. Yeah, and so was Link, He, he and, was my main. And Yoda. And Yoda and yeah, and Vader and, and yeah. Now it's uh, Geralt of Riviera. Ger- Geralt of Rivia is uh, is the Soul Calibur guy. So it it is weird how like all of these different franchises because the way that they fight. I mean, obviously, like it's it's the fighting style is going to be the same for whatever game the crossover is based in. Yeah, um, that's why it was so weird when they did. Do you remember when they did? Uh, what was it SNK versus Capcom, and then Capcom versus SNK, and they released two games with the same characters but two different. Um, it was like the the fighting styles of SNK games versus the fighting styles of Capcom games. Yeah, I remember that. And I don't know. I know one was SNK. I don't know if the other one was Capcom or not. I'm, well, they I'm did kind Street Fighter cross Tekken as well. Oh yeah, and it was all yeah. the Tekken moves, and then all the Street Fighter. Moves. And, yeah. and you know that is a really interesting way to do it. Yeah, I would love a um, Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter game like that. that I would I, love for them to. take... I think it would be great, but I don't think it'll ever happen. I would, to take all of the Street Fighter characters. And give them Mortal Kombat's moves and button inputs, yeah. so that I don't have to do these fucking holds and back circle bullshits. That, that, that street <laughs> quarter fighter, circle forward B. Like, like, I understand that asking me that asking someone to memorize like seventeen different button presses in a row for a combo is a is a big ask, but for some reason it works for my brain. Right. And like you put a, a PS2 you put directional uh, circles in well, that. Well, yeah. And... Once you what, the, well, it's also. <laughs> My biggest issue with those types of games, and it's like specifically um, Japanese developed fighting games, okay. is that when you go to the moves list, uh-huh. it does not adequately describe to you what it is you are exactly supposed to do. It will have like a little arrow over a stick uh-huh. in some direction, and then it'll have like power attack one plus seven, comma, and then like hold three seconds, and then low punch uh and then like high attack y or something but oh, it doesn't sure. it doesn't give you the directions for how you're actually like what those buttons correspond to oh like, yeah no it's, it's like it's, when they you keep look, it they keep it the universal input as opposed to just putting whatever console yeah you're on. no just tell me like uh, <laughs> up down x well you know xxba you, you just tell me the buttons yeah. don't don't make me yeah. have to do this weird translation thing 
and, and oh that, no no that's not. what makes those types of games really <laughs> difficult dead or alive was notoriously bad at that <laughs> dead or alive was notoriously bad for a lot of reasons i like the dead or alive series dead or alive because, 2 dead or because alive because you're a pervert no because it's legitimately good fluid fighting are you sure? I thought it was just a, a beach volleyball simulator. No, there that that's a different game altogether. You have the, the main fighting games. You've got Dare Alive, Dare Alive Two, Dare Alive Three, and then you've got Dare Alive Beach Volleyball, which is the pervert game. Of course all this perversion started with Dreamcast and Dead or Alive Two and there being a code to like have a, a naked intro. A naked intro? Yeah, well, I mean, just one of the characters is naked for a little bit of time in the in the intro, like maybe do five you, or six do seconds. Do you see things? Or is no, it just, not really. It's just like, it's, it's like, it's like is it like it's, subtle back? No, it's like, she's got it, on a weird, like... It, she doesn't really, but it seems like that way. She's got on like a weird colored flesh suit with no nipples. Mm. But it's just like a render of just a skin model. Man, been tricked before, huh? Yeah, right? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> It's like Lola Bunny all over again. Oh my god, I'm so glad they toned down Lola Bunny. The fact that that makes anyone upset, right? Honestly, it, like talk about outing yourself as a fucking weirdo. And uh, yeah, we're keeping we're keeping a new generation from, of furries from being awakened. Like I thought it was weird how person like she looked then. Um, like the whole it, I don't know. It was very. Strange. If they really wanted to anatomically correct Lola Bunny, they would just give her eight tits, just the eight rabbit tits. <laughs> you can't have an anatomically correct Anything. Looney Tune. Yeah, that's like not it, work. it doesn't work that way. They walk have, and they talk yeah. and they wear clothes. And like, yeah, curly, cur uh, per Porky Pig running around with a oh yeah with his dick just <laughs> with his out. curly dick because he doesn't wear <laughs> pants ever. <laughs> All right, so um, that's probably been as long as we can possibly go without talking about the game that we're looking at. Yeah. So this, so this is Ghostbusters. This is the Ghostbusters game. Uh, we're, we're introing the game uh, t fucking 12 minutes now. It's okay. It's been pretty cinematic heavy up until now. It looks like it's still. It, it, it will be. <laughs> but no, there's, there's, there's good chunks of gameplay in there. And I noticed, like, have you, have you looked at what your character is? Have you played this? I have not played you have this. Not no. played I this? have heard that this is, like, the only good Ghostbusters game. It's good. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. But if you, like, get a look at what your character is, it, he kind of looks like Dan Aykroyd's son. Like, he could just be an illegitimate Dan Aykroyd kid. Where's uh, Winston? He's on vacation. They mentioned what? that. They mentioned that. Winston is on vacation. The only black ghost, ghost, Ghostbuster is on vacation. He shows up again. So you're just a random fourth person? Why, yeah. why can't you just be Winston? They took out an ad, and they're like, hey. Yeah, I wonder. It's like, why what? can't you just be one of the Ghostbusters? What? And that's another point I wanted to make. If they want like to continue the Ghostbusters video gaming legacy, this would lend itself very well to... To like the, a remaster? Well, this is this is the remaster, or like oh, well, but, you, oh, like a sequel. But like, no, it would lend itself to. No, let uh, me interrupt you and get it wrong again. Fine, like a theme park ride. <laughs> well, yeah, but also <laughs> one of those asymmetric horror types where it's four on one, four and, Ghostbusters and versus, versus one, ghost. one big ghost. Oh, don't say that out loud. That's gonna. They're gonna make. They're gonna that do now. that now. Oh man, and it's, gonna, it's just gonna turn into another Friday the Thirteenth game. Yeah, it's again. gonna be another one of those. Another Look, Dead I, by Daylight without being that, Dead by Daylight. That would be fun. Just make it. Okay, make, here's my compromise. You can you go ahead and make it because I know you want to, but don't do not turn this into. Oh, we're not making it. We're just putting the Ghostbusters in fucking Dead by Daylight. Don't do that. Don't, oh, don't well, do that. You know they're going to do that. You know at they're going to do that. Like, no, once, once want, the Ghostbusters wanna... movie actually gets closer to really releasing, I am yeah. absolutely certain something is going to show up in Dead by Daylight. It is surprising. I want the Ghostbusters to have their own asymmetric horror game, not another Dead by Daylight expansion. I want pictures of Spider Man! It is surprising how much Dead by Daylight continues to put out content. Oh, yeah. No, it's like they, they, it, And it does have, like, a lot of players. It does. You know, like, no, that, no, they're, it, they're, it's a successful game. Their fan base is rabid. And I, well, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I work with a few of them. <laughs> but it, it, it just blows my mind because I've played Dead by Daylight and it's fine. Yeah. But it's not, like, you know, it, but then again, like you know, I I didn't get super into Fortnite. I got really into PUBG for a while. Yeah. Um. But it takes it takes a very specific type of game for me to enjoy like persistent multiplayer experiences where you just do the same fucking thing over and over again. Yeah. And it, it Dead by Daylight is definitely not that. In, yeah. Unless I guess I was playing with a group of friends. 
Like, I could see that maybe, but even so, like... If you have a four stack on Dead by Daylight, it's a, it's a lot more fun as opposed to just playing with randos. I think that it's the slowness of it that, that bothers me. Yeah, yeah. Well, because, there's, there's also the suspense of it. Yeah, but I never felt suspense while I was playing. Sure. I just felt more frustrated and confused. Sure. Like, I didn't know what I was supposed to do next or... Uh, where to go or how to win, and I as play, survivor, no, as both. Oh, as oh, okay. Because and it, it, it turned in, especially when I was the killer, though, like because so many things would just turn into um, me like chasing somebody around a tree in a circle, while they like slightly outrun me a little more every time until I have to turn around the other way, and then I get a hit on them, and then we continue the game back and forth. And yeah. if it's not a tree, then it's like a little pile of debris on the ground or something. And, sure. and then they're just like, they're buying time until one of their friends can come up and throw something down in my path so that I stumble, and then we move to another tree and do it again. Yeah, that's just the dance. Yeah. You, it, gotta, you gotta be good at the dance. But it's a very un... Exciting dance. Sure. Okay. Yeah. It's not it, for it, it is not fun. Sure. <laughs> it is not a good game. It's, see, I, see, I don't want to say that. It is. A, it, it, obviously, it's a good game. Yeah. But you enjoyed um, Resistance. I enjoyed Resistance because it has that. It has. It has guns. It does uh. have guns. <laughs> I enjoyed Resistance for the strategy aspect of playing as the operator. Like I did not. Oh, yeah. I did not like playing Resistance as a survivor. Okay. Um, but I absolutely loved like watching people solve problems that, that I was put putting there. in front of yeah, their way. That's that's like, awesome. That that whether I won or not, I just enjoyed watching <laughs> watching the things happen. I'm glad you were able to get in uh, into a game as the operator because that has never ever fucking once happened to me. I'll tell you um <laughs> before before uh, the, the the problem. So I got uh, I reviewed that game for work. Yeah, and yeah. so I had a copy a couple of weeks before most people did, and so it was just other reviewers and the members on the team who were on those oh, lobbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if you think that was a problem now, when they're, <laughs> when they're, when people can actually play the game, imagine when it's just like, you know, probably somewhere around 50 to 100 of us, mm. and everyone is just like, okay, well, I've got to try out this, and I've got to try out this, and I've got to try out this. And it's like, well, I need to talk about operator mode, I have to play operator mode. And, but 50 other people also need to do that, so... Like, I, I remember, like, I screenshotted in uh, my lobby when it was at, like, 49 minutes and 50 seconds, and I was just like, I don't know how much longer I can do this. All right, no shit. Um, Jesus. But uh, later on, that that did get fixed, and th as, obviously, like, more players started and stuff, I absolutely love playing as the operator. I it, wonder if anybody still plays it. I still have it installed on my PlayStation. We can yeah. turn it on right now and find yeah, out. We can find Here, out. Here, look. Yeah, I'll, yeah. No, I'll, I'll turn it on right now. I'll turn it right now. We'll just see if there's Because anybody. we can time it in real time yeah. to see how long it see, takes. Yeah. That you know, sounds, Ghostbusters fine isn't to me. going anywhere. Yeah, it's, it'll be fine. Yeah. They'll still be here busting ghosts and having it feel good. I think it's really fucked up that Winston's not in this game. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, no, it's really fucked up. It is, up. it is. No, I agree. So but... are they are they just trying to save on a color palette? Because that was... <laughs> no, li no, literally, that's the reason why he wasn't in the Super Nintendo version. Is because it would have cost, like... Really? It would have cost so much more money to introduce another color palette into the game. Wow. Um, but... Yeah, look at look at your character. You see back there? Doesn't he look like, kind of look like Dan Aykroyd? Like an illegitimate kid of Dan Aykroyd? That, that's you in the back yeah, in the middle? Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah. You just look like... Yeah, j yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder if that's a plot point in the game later. It <laughs> could, so. it could very well it be. Has, but yeah, Winston does show up later. It's like I was stuck in traffic. Oh, and so he like joins, and you can. Well, I I don't see him in this playthrough, but he shows up on the walkie-talkie. So I assume he hooks up back up with him later. Okay. He's like, I'm here now. Oh wait, no, you do see him. Yeah, you do see him. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Well, still. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird that you're not just playing as Winston, because yeah. Winston as a character is so perfect for um, like audience insert. Like that's the whole reason he's in the movie is he because he's just the normal guy. Yeah, he's the normal he guy. Shit about this while all the other stuff. He was just looking for a job. Exactly. You know. <laughs> so are you deliberately trying to shoot your teammates with the gun here? I am only trying to shoot Harold Ramis. I am trying to bust his ghost because I feel like that's what he would have wanted. No, that's fair. It's very depressing, but fair. It, yeah, it, it it is. I feel like he would appreciate that joke too. 
Have you had Dan Aykroyd's vodka? I have the Crystal Skull. The Crystal Skull. I have not had the Crystal Skull. It's vodka. so delicious. Is it really? It is. It's like it's a shame that he's so batshit crazy because of how good that vodka is. Wait, how how batshit crazy is he? Is he like? Um, well, James Woods, Randy Quaid, no, that shit crazy. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. Not like uh, he's crazy in a way that's not a danger to anyone. Okay, cool. So he's just he's just he, quirky Dan Aykroyd. Well, I, he believes that this is real. The Ghostbusters. Not that it actually happened that he was a Ghostbuster, but he, like believes part, in ghosts. He believes in ghosts. He believes in aliens. He believes in otherworldly spirits. He believes in in all of the the concepts. Okay. Of of these things. What's so bad about that? Uh, nothing in and of itself. Sometimes the way that he uh, goes about it isn't great. Yeah, I believe in aliens. Well, yeah, it's hard not yeah, to when you look to. at the amount of space. Yeah, it's very and, and arrogant planets. to think that we're the only you know planet with life on it. Very very arrogant. Um, I also believe in ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I also believe in ghosts. I I don't know if I do. I I do. I, I believe in energies and auras, and I don't know if I believe in, like, tangible spirits and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I, it, I believe in... Uh, it is entirely possible, and I wouldn't rule it out. Also parallel universes that bleed into our own, but that's, that's another topic for another day. The only, like, really metaphysical, like, giant overarching statement about like life and the universe and understanding that I am willing to say 100% that I believe is true yeah. is that every everything is connected everything is the same life form like uh, you and I are part of the same life form uh, but also that is equal to the amount that so is those trees outside yeah, so we're, is, we're so, parts of a cell of so, a planet so are the dog uh, yes. part of an organism of the universe yeah if you, you look at the universe zoomed out as far as you can and you look at an atom zoomed in as far as you can they look exactly the fucking same they honestly it, do. It, it, atoms and solar systems and uh, cells like it all works micro together microverses and macroverses it, it's all the same fucking all intertwined. thing intertwined do you think it's like Cyclical though, if it's is cyclical, yeah. In which way? Like we'll go into something in and of itself, and we're the inside of it the whole time. It's it's all very convoluted. Like when we die? No, like or or just we we are we are in so we are inside of a thing right now in the same way that if you zoomed in onto our uh, skin cells, you would see that there are giant gaps in between them, yeah. and one is next to the other, yeah. Um, in the same way that they say that no, no two things, like you put your fingers together and your fingers are never actually touching each other. Sure. In, in that same way, um, it, we are all the same thing. Alright, so Resident Evil Resistance, start. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, now we're in a kitchen. Yeah, if we zoom out enough, how much will we be, we be actually be zooming in? Oh, that is a question. Yeah, see. Um, it's not a good one. <laughs> it's not. And it doesn't really mean anything. But it is a question. <laughs> and questions are good. They don't always have to be, uh, you know, They don't always smart. have to have answers. Yeah. They don't always have to be things that someone who's not a dumbass would say. <laughs> Sometimes it can be the other. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's Josh? I hit, He's the one we make fun of for this. I, hit, I love that it says unknown <laughs> substance when you look at that. That's very funny. Uh, Resident Evil Resistance seems to have... Oh, nope, something's happening. Wait, I was yeah. going to say it seems to have frozen on the load screen, but maybe it just takes a while. So what is that scanner thing that you're looking through? It's, um... It... it Looks at ectoplasm, and uh, it's it's kind of like our Batman vision. Okay, you know, it, it scans it, the it ectoplasm which, and helps point, us get a trail. At which point do the ghost hunters show up? The ghost hunters, the like, ghost hunters, like the people with the reality show. Yeah, they don't show. Oh, up. Oh, they don't. No. They well, don't. that's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, the game's probably much better for it. Good. Can you imagine, like? The, a Ghost Hunters video game? The weird uh, contractor standoff where it's like the hotel called... some One of the guys from the hotel called the Ghostbusters. And, and the other guy called, called the Ghost, Ghost Hunters, Hunters. And they both and show up. They're and both they're right like, next to each yeah. other in the phone book. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they like, show oh. up at the same time. Yeah. And they're just like, wait. <laughs> you guys... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Again? Another one? That's the third job this month. 
And they just, and just like, um, they just both like look at each other and sigh, and then just rock, paper, scissors yeah. again. <laughs> I wish I could remember the name of that uh, guy that does the Ghost Hunter show. Because um, I would like to make fun of him. Sure. But I can't because I can't remember his can't name. Remember and it doesn't name. seem fair to yeah. make fun of somebody if you can't remember their name. We're talking about the night vision people, right? The following what? content has been added to the game. Jill Valentine, new equipment, new cosmetics, Nicholas Geo... Okay. Genevieve. Oh, Nikolai. Nikolai Matt. Genevieve. Hey. It's been a while since I've turned this on, apparently. Shit, yeah, it fucking has. Wow. Well, at least it looks like it's still alive. It's still, yeah, it's still kicking. So that's good. All right, fantastic. No, I don't need, I don't need the cutscene. No, we all seen it. Yeah. yeah. Start the game. Thank you. For those of you doing this, this is a double let's play. Yeah, we're playing a game. We're, we're while playing, watching another game. We're playing Ghostbusters while playing Resident Evil Resistance update. Oh, another one? I thought you already added all that what shit. The fuck. What the fuck? God, come on, guys. You just, you just said it was updated. Honestly. How do I what the update then? You probably don't have enough space. Tell me that. We just cleared out a bunch of space last week. Yeah, but you downloaded control. Oh god damn it. <laughs> oh, that's a system update. Ah uh, well. You gotta have that. I guess. Gotta do that. Oh, fucking Sony. Oh yeah. Probably, probably trying to give me more free games or some shit. <laughs> Thanks, assholes. I'll tell you what, man. PS Plus games have been kicking it out of the park lately. Like, especially when you compare to, like, what games are free on Xbox Gold. Oh, sure. Like, the Xbox Gold games are like, hey, here's all the random stuff from the Xbox Arcade we haven't kicked out yet. Well, what are you getting over here on, on Sony side? Oh, fucking all kinds of cool stuff. Like, Control, we just said. Yeah. Um, okay, what else? Other stuff. I can get Control Final free Final Fantasy on the Switch. VII Remake. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Now you're getting somewhere. That's that's uh, this month, I believe. Why is Slimer in every level? Slimer is, uh... Well, I mean, he was he was the catalyst. He got out, and then he got in front of the ghost vault, and then we fucking opened it and let loose all the fucking ghosts. So this game is oh, like... Oh, is that, is that the plot that we talked over? In yeah. the beginning? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, it's all it's, Slimer's just the root cause of it. But this game is like a combination of the events of one and two. I thought this was like a, a continuation. I thought this was like a three. Yeah, this is after. This is after. But this is after two. This is after two. But they mix basically everything from, about, yeah, from the two movies. Yeah, because because all of the hotel, like all of these hotel yeah. scenes, just look like that same hotel. That's that's exactly what it is. You have to go back and do it. And um, you're gonna see some other people you recognize. Oh, so so it's like Slimer let loose all of the ghosts that you've saved so far, and so now you have to go back and not re saved, busted. We we busted them. They are in ghost prison, which um, it makes me think. Since I'm trying, I to... like the lines it leaves. Yeah, I know that's awesome, right? It's like the it's like lightsabers in a uh, Jedi outcast. Yeah, yeah, this is a good remake. This is a good, it holds up, um, but it leads me to to think about. Um, since I'm trying to bust Harold Ramis' ghost... Right. Are you going to send Harold Ramis' ghost to prison See, so that's that he the can thing. never have peace? That's the thing. I want him to have peace, and if he wants to live among us and keep uh, uh, busting ghosts in, into his afterlife, shouldn't we let him? Shouldn't he at least have that option? Like, is, well, is that an option on, for it, other ghosts? It depends on if he's ghost an or not. Yeah. Because I said among us. Yeah. Uh, can't get away from it. I think that's a very valid argument, though. Like the all of the ghosts that the Ghostbusters has busted, they in the movie they're in that big red yeah. Um, container. Yeah. As far as I know, they've never encountered a friendly ghost except for that one who sucked Dan Aykroyd's dick. Yes. And <laughs> and to be fair, he did not arrest her. He did not. It's true. Um. <laughs> So you're saying that Dan Aykroyd is no less corrupt than any other police officer. <laughs> Ghost cops. Ghost cops. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I do think that there is something there, but it, yeah, they would not... Any ghost... I feel like that would be an interesting dynamic. Any ghost that the Ghostbusters uh, end up busting... Are evil ghosts? Yes. Like, like you said, they've never encountered a good ghost besides for uh, arguably that one. Yeah. 
I wouldn't know if, uh, you know, we don't know what she was trying to get away with and just, like, distracting right. him. Like, yeah. maybe there was another ghost on uh, the other side Oh, they were trying the to house. pull a ghost heist? Yeah. A geist heist? And, <laughs> and she was she was the distraction? It's very possible. Yeah. Or he. We don't know the... Or they. I don't know the gender of Oh, it was of that. an invisible ghost, uh, right? Yeah. You know, we never saw the ghost. Oh, that's true. It could be... It could, it could have been could either be way. could be anybody sucking your dick, Dan Aykroyd. That's fine. That's, I mean, if, if, they're, if they're dead and fine. invisible, it's not gay. Yeah, it's not gay at all. And even if it was, maybe he is. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Or if he's not, then, you know, he still seemed to enjoy it. Yeah, I mean... He didn't say no. I mean, laying back and crossing your eyes is universally a yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a stupid scene. That's the worst scene in the fucking movie. <laughs> I really like... I love Ghostbusters. I do think that scene is garbage. Yeah. Like, uh, there's there's very few parts of Ghostbusters that I think don't work, and that's, the like, the only one of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and I like a, a lot of Ghostbusters, too. That and Egon fucking the slime. Uh, I, I think that was a little too far, too. Wait, wait, go back. Ghostbusters 2. He did... Wait, he did what now? When, when, it, when he says, you didn't sleep with this thing. Didn't did sleep you? with it, did he, Ray? Oh, my God. And he didn't actually say no or yeah, yes. He, he, he didn't... Like, no, he did, the, he did an eyebrow thing and then a... turned his head away. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know... But, I, you know, Ghostbusters is pretty much as close as you can get to a perfect movie. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the the latest one with, with the with, all with all with ladies? all the ladies? No, I did not. Neither did I. It didn't look good. I well, I mean, I don't. I just don't. I have a thing against Melissa McCarthy. I feel like Hollywood's just been shoving her down our throats, right? The last ten or so years. I I really like Kate McKinnon as a person. I don't much care for her acting. Yeah. Because whenever I would see her in like SNL, it was just always like way too much. Yeah. She just it, too much and crazy eyes. But I like I don't have anything personally against the idea of it. I don't think that like if you're going to do a remake, you need I don't know. I just don't care. Like, yeah. why would you? Why would you remake something like Ghostbusters? Like, if you want to have something like that, if you're trying to do it like an all a uh, uh, good for you know, like we're trying to do like a pro woman type movie, Girl that's power, that's yeah. fantastic. But Ghostbusters is not the movie to do it off of because like this is just four losers who didn't have any money and were in like made up a business and and like Bill Murray was just kind of scamming people. And, like, there was no, like, patriarchy besides the fact that, uh, oh, the, oh, the one other thing that doesn't age well with Ghostbusters is, when, is Bill Murray, there's, like, a joke that Bill Murray bar- brought, like, uh, some drugs or something to, like, uh, when he was going to go out on the date with, uh, what's her name? Oh, with Dana, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Oof. It's weird. You know. All right, you're just shooting that guy. I'm just shooting that guy in the dick. You can never be too careful. He could be a ghost. You don't know. Well, it clearly isn't hurting him. Yeah, he's fine. Well, that man clearly also has no dick. <laughs> that's a good that's, Ghostbusters that's joke. That's a good Ghostbusters reference you just did there. Oh, no, there's another one. It just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, they fucking all of them. When they say all of them, they mean fucking all of them. So, is the whole game just this one hotel? Or no, you eventually pour out into the street. Does uh, does this game culminate in you walking with the Statue of Liberty? I do not know. Because, like, what if it's it, they, they do a mashup of the end of both movies, and it's like a Godzilla fight between the Statue between of the, Liberty and the, and the Puff Puff Marshmallow, Marshmallow Man? Yeah. That would be awesome. Well, I'll go ahead and spoil it now. It's not. It Well, you, you run into the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man alarmingly early, in my opinion. Okay. Because we do, we do run into him toward the end of this playthrough well that is alarmingly early yeah it's very very early is that him there no where Uh, he's he's the the flying fisherman or the flying the fly fisherman the flying dutchman which is is kind of strange because like i think it's a little bit of a play on the gameplay of this uh particular game 
because it kind of feels like a fishing game when you're tugging against how the ghost is. Uh, ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Fisherman ghost. So he took he fucked up the stairway, and now I have to fucking go around the fucking hallways and find him. Ah! Ah! A cursed artifact. Just jump. No, uh, this jump. Have you seen the jump? It's the jump. It's, don't be all. Don't be a little bitch joke, about it. The the see, it won't even let you go past it though. Fail to connect the net. Oh no! It's still doing it. Oh, I'm trying so hard. I believe you. I believe in your PlayStation, and I believe in you, and I believe in your network. And now this motherfucker done flooded the goddamn hallways. Now it's like low tide at the fucking pier. How's it going over there? It says ready to install. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just do Just it. Just do it. I don't. You don't. I don't need to tell it yeah. to install. I hate that. Yeah, but you have to tell it four or five fucking times. It's like, yeah, I already agreed to download the update. What about this is not implied that I want to go ahead and fucking install it? Like, I really like that. At least nowadays most cities have decent internet because dealing with the massive download size that we have in games yeah. imagine it still being like everyone using fucking dial up modems oh, for fuck and, ha and having God to download a 60 sake. gigabyte game over your AOL connection mm. like I would it, you know it used to take a, an hour to load a web page remember like downloading a bunch of songs and like leaving your lime wire open all night. Oh yeah, you had you had to leave, you had to leave everything <laughs> leave open. That I was shit like, all right, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick night. seven songs, and when I wake up, I'll have half a CD ready. Shit, yeah. And then you open a few of them, and like, it's like this isn't what it this, said. This is porn. <laughs> this isn't this isn't at all a coolio. Ah uh, well, unzip. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're here, might, might as well look uh, at it. No sense in wasting good porn. And then it wasn't even good porn. It was never good <laughs> it was porn. Never good porn. <laughs> What's up with the barnacles? Uh, he flooded the fucking hallway. He made and, it, and, and then barnacles instantly grew. Yeah, those things that take like months of uh, salt and corrosion. And yeah. this is a very powerful ghost. Uh, clearly, yeah. He mad. Didn't you climb upstairs to get here? Yeah. How how how's that work? How how's it uh, how's man, it how's it flooded? He he up? flooded he flooded a whole floor that's but, like above the, the, the and, then, and, then, floor. and then sealed it very very well very well so that it wouldn't go down. Below. He's a very skilled seaman. Boo. He's a man of the sea. Open the door. God, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Now you're now you're lost in a maze. Oh man, the, I I did get I got lost a fair amount of time here actually. <laughs> I can tell. This is this fucking hallway was no picnic. I did not enjoy this part. Uh, you don't ever want to bring a picnic to somewhere this damp. No, of course not. Why why do these goggles look like they're upside down? What's up with that? You have to ask Egon. Like the that. When goggles go together like that, that's almost always because that's where your nose, where your goes. nose goes. But that's at the top. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Now, there's nowhere for my nose to go. No, where's your nose goes? Oh, there's where the water is going. It's weird how the level isn't changing, though. No. It's not. But, I mean, it, look, the, if, if you were to look onto the right, then the, uh, the water's going all downstairs. So, the... All the floors below are getting flooded as well. So he's basically flooding the entire hotel from this floor down. For why? So he'd be more comfortable, I guess. I don't know. What is his... Uh, what's his end game here? What's, what's his purpose? Why Why is he... Whoa. Yeah, the candelabra just came to life and oh, started, that's to, cool. started to attack me. That yeah, was I neat. thought that was cool. Yeah. It took me by Make surprise. Make more things like that happen. Time. Please. Trust me, I get... I get Oh no! Now all the candles. Yeah. Now all spider, the spider spider candles. candles. I like that. That's cool. That's yeah. A, that's a neat enemy. I, I like it too. I think it's cool. But, but I don't, I don't this, know. This they're... is exactly what would be like if uh, the Ghostbusters and the Beauty and the Beast had a crossover. There's like some weird, awfully weird metaphysical shit going on because I don't know how their candles stay lit. Oh, because they're in the water. They're in the fucking water. 
That is a weird choice for the for the level designers. Like, why would you do the spider candle thing in the water yeah. level? Like, no one brought that up, and they're yeah. like, "Hey, wouldn't the flames just go out?" Uh, no, ghost no, magic. Ghost flames. Ghost magic. Yeah. It's fine. Now, if they just had them crawling on the walls, that would make more sense. So you're trying to get up, right? Yeah. All right. So I want to give you a little bit of advice. Look for a staircase. For no, just for whenever you're stuck in a maze next. Okay. Is a thing that happens sometimes. Pick one direction and go in it. No, that's never what you want to do. <laughs> Follow the left-hand wall. How is that not the exact same thing? That's because you said pick one direction. You'll never be able to continue going in the same direction. Like, you, eventually you'll reach a T-junction. Oh, so you just... Follow the left-hand wall. Follow the left-hand wall. And it will take you the entire perimeter of the area. And if, like, if you're going to get out, if it's a maze that there is an out, you will find it by doing that. If your out is in the middle, that's then you have to, you know, adjust a little and start doing marks when you, like, make your, your full circle all the way around. Mm. But more often than not, follow the left-hand wall is the solution for how to get out of a maze. Just it's It's a good piece of life advice. Yeah, I mean... If you're ever stuck in a cornfield or a punji pit, you know. I don't know. I don't know if a, that would work for a punji pit. Well, it depends on how big the pit is and how winding. You don't yeah. really see many winding punji pits. Ah, uh, you've never been to Korea. <laughs> you're right. I've never have. I do enjoy their barbecue. It's still updating over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> still updating over here. Well, the PlayStation update is done, and now it seems like the network features have been enabled, so now it's doing the update for Resident Evil again. Oh, cool. So. Alright. Update of Palooza. This is, the, this is the problem. This is why gaming sucks. <laughs> nowadays. Yeah. It's because if anything isn't fully updated immediately, it's always just like a huge pain in the ass. Like, imagine if I just, like, had, I was like, ooh, I'd like to play Resident Evil Resistance for 15 minutes before it's time to leave. Yeah. And nope. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. If if that's if that's what I want. No, you can't go that way. Yeah, that's where all the water went. It's not flooded anymore. <gasps> it's like the shining. So, uh yeah. I uh I was watching uh, some NBA basketball Okay. before I came over and then my lights flickered for a little while. And you were worried that because you were playing Ghostbusters, you had made your house haunted. No, this was this was long after I had played this. Okay, but I was I was watching I was watching the basketball, and my internet went out, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just uh, I can't watch my basketball no more, so I'll play Halo on the Master Chief Collection." And then I had to be connected to the internet to fucking play the Master Chief Collection, even though it was already fucking downloaded and updated on my Xbox. Is so. that because it's part of your Game Pass? Yeah, and so it needs to authorize that you have Game Pass. Yeah. Or, yep. Isn't that the thing? Yeah, that's terrible. So I'm just no, going, that, no. That type of shit really yeah, pisses me off sucks. with games because it's there there is lots of times where it's like, oh hey, fuck, my internet's not working. You know, well, let me just play this thing right here. This is a single player game. It doesn't need internet. Yeah, it doesn't it, need it. Like that. That's the problem with the fucking Hitman games mm. is that you can barely use them without internet. Yeah. And even if you do, none of your progress There's always some kind of microtransaction or fucking. Uh, leaderboard, and it's like we just don't need all that shit. We just no. want to fucking be able to play games. No, I don't. There, there is absolutely no reason why in a single player game I need a uh, constant access to a leaderboard so that I know, you know, that I did worse than two hundred thousand other people who own this game. Right? Fucking exactly. Like there is no need for that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! We might have got, yeah, got it. Might have got it. Might have got Resident Evil working. All right. Now I'm fighting a stove. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Oh, another. <laughs> oh. oh, we got another one. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> we got it. Uh, I think we're, are we going to get more free stuff? An error. Oh, no. Bullshit. No. Is your connection fucked or is the server just down? I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's lying to us. Uh oh. No. No. I don't think it's going to work. Well, the connect. There's no reason the connection. Yeah, it was able that. to download all other stuff, so the connection's yeah. fine. So their servers are probably yeah. just being fucky. Either yeah, that or uh, it's working. It's fine. Okay, it might just be lying to me. I was doing network. 
Try it as a survivor, it said. <laughs> Internet's working fine according to PlayStation. Oh, wow. So it's literally saying that I can't play as a mastermind. Can't play as mastermind? Oh my god. I'm able to start using that. But I don't, though. We'll see what it says. See what happens. Let's see how long it takes to play as Survivor. Okay. So far, you're the only one there. And yep. you're 10 seconds in. Cool. Nice. So, yeah, anyway, Capcom's making a, another exclusive multiplayer only game. I wonder how that's going for Resident what are they? Evil. Oh, yeah, they're, I can't remember what it's called. I, I, saw, I watched somebody play it not too long ago, maybe three weeks ago. You watched somebody play it? I didn't think it was out yet. It, well, it's it, it was an open beta. Oh, well, okay. not, not open beta, it was closed beta. Sorry, my bad. It was in some form of beta. It was in some form of beta. It was a, it was exclusively closed beta. God, how long has this guy die? Yeah, I know, right? Fuck. So the, fight, I, the fights in this are pretty long. It, well, what makes it frustrating is that like it doesn't seem to have any sort of like visible hit bar. There is. Like, See, there's a the little, little circle, the little thing? red sliver. Yeah. That's how much health he has left. But, like, how much... It just came back. It just... Yeah, it just came... Exactly. Fuck, it just came back. <laughs> Even though we've been blasting this motherfucker from every angle for, like, the past... Well, yeah, that's minutes. the thing, is it doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're already dead, so... We just gotta bust them. Well, that's and why I think keeping it is, is a strict, more, like, fishing aspect is yeah. probably a smarter idea. Well, it's kind of like Pokemon, too, where you have to lower their health enough. You're not supposed to like, specifically knock them out. You're just going to blow enough to trap them, which is what I'm trying to do. See that little yellow beacon in the middle yeah, of the room? Yeah, no, I, I, get, I, get, I get how it works. Yeah, no, I, I, know how, I know how to bust ghosts. I mean, I, I do. <laughs> I also just know how video games work. I see the thing you threw down, and I see the ghost, and it's just like, well, put the yeah. ghost on the thing. Yeah. But it uh, it doesn't look like any of that's happening. Here we go. Like, Here we go. Like, how direct do you have to get him over that little beacon before? It's it's finicky. It really is. It really is. We are two minutes in, and you are still the only person. <laughs> Nobody really seems to be playing. I don't think anybody's playing this game. I'll try it on Steam when I get home. Probably tomorrow. Let's see. Well, if I hit random, ah, that, that gives that doubles my chances theoretically. Two times zero is still zero, and don't you forget it. <laughs> He's holding that um, walkie-talkie like it's a bomb detonator. Yeah, it's away from him, and he's just like, like eh, eh. "That's how you use it." Yeah, that's how you use that's a walkie-talkie. Well, Egon is the smart one. I feel like even if that's the case, they should still all know how to use it. Oh, there he is. There he is. I told you. Very, that is soon. Very soon. Very early. So it's literally like the first scene in the movie and then the last scene in the movie. Back yeah. to back. Yeah. And okay. then just expanded. Yeah. Well, it, when we were in the Ghostbusters office, they had the Vigo painting, and you can go up and talk to it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And I did. I did talk to it. Usual Vigo stuff. Throne of Pain. I am Vigo. Thousands of years of blood. Yeah. You know, Carpathian. Just morbid shit. Hey, Winston! Yeah, there he is, right there. Hey! I told you, you see him. He's, he was on vacation. He, he, they called him back from his vacation, which is a shame. You know, why aren't you in this game more? <laughs> I'm sure we will be from this point out, this point on. So now I have to wait for this to be cleared. Why can't you just jump why, over it? Why can't I just jump over it? I mean, you just go over the cars. That's just how this is how they designed it. I have to wait for all this shit to be blown up by the. What did you get money for? I, you get money for breaking shit. Apparently, how's that work? Who's, I, who's paying you for breaking that taxi? The city is. Bill Murray actually mentioned that in a bit of dialogue earlier. That the city will the, pay the us city, for anything yeah. we destroy? It's essentially, yeah. The city's going to pay, pay us. The, shouldn't it pay the people, pay the who, people who own it? Who own the stuff? No, I'm just, we're just getting paid for busting ghosts. It's we the, could rack up as much collateral damage as we want. It's the worst the, insurance system. The more damage we cause, like the bigger the payoff. It's it's basically padding, uh, padding a damage report for insurance. 
Oh, I threw a car at you. Yep. And that's that's what I had to wait for. Yay. <laughs> Hooray, patience. So what would happen if he had just been like, you know... Fuck it, I'm not throwing this fuck, car. Fuck you guys. We'd have just fucking been stuck there forever. Yeah. And the he could have... one super slammer. Well, that sounds like something we should have had all along. That sounds like a Kool-Aid drink. Oh, it's got a catcher on top of the car? That's yeah, neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 would be a cool scene where like there's like ghost ravaging a city and, and they're you, driving and, through and, and you yeah. turn it on and you have to like you're they're like following the ghost trying to line it up right underneath it. That would be a cool scene. That would be really cool. I yeah, agree. like a witch is fly a witch ghost or, or something is flying through the sky. Or even that fisherman one that you yeah. just had and you're like chasing him and he's in a boat and you're in a car. And then he like goes off towards the water and we're like, We gotta get we gotta get to him before he grabs into the ocean or we'll never catch him. And then Egon's like, No, Ray drive into the ocean and Ray's like what trust me and then they drive into the ocean and Egon presses a button and then all of a sudden it's a propeller car and then they still chase the ghost we've got bigger problems what yeah. the Wright brothers <laughs> <laughs> oh that'd be perfect I love this this is our Ghostbusters 3 script yeah, <laughs> yeah and we can we can actually uh, talk about friendly ghosts. We could have a scene with Casper if we can get the rights to it, him. It, it's the Wright brothers, and then the Red Baron is chasing them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so we catch the Red Baron, and the Wright brothers. It had to be the other way around. Oh yeah, yeah. Because the Red Baron wasn't he wasn't the Red Baron like a he wasn't a Nazi. No, that's what I'm saying. The Red Baron is who is chasing the Wright brothers. Oh okay. Yeah. No, we you save the Wright brothers. Yeah. Oh okay. Um, I thought I thought the Wright brothers were saving us from the Red Baron. Well, that could work, too. Yeah, either one. Either one. I don't think the Wright brothers would have guns on their plane, which makes them more like the helpless people in the situation. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, yeah, I like your way better. I like like the idea of uh, uh, Casper... Uh, being introduced though, yeah, that would be good. And then you know, and then and no, he's just like no. Some ghosts are friendly. Some, yeah, and uh, we're not all bad. And then there's like they and have they three, have an his emotional three shitty uncles show up and fuck up that moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then they have like an emotional crisis where it's like you know, are some of the ghosts that we captured like should we yeah, set them free? Yeah. And then maybe uh, Ray feels bad because he's the most you know emotional out of everybody mm-hmm. like Peter uh, Vayman doesn't care and Egon is uh, confused but also it's probably safer that we keep him well, so they don't want to let him out well but probably then, are we going to have a computer generated Egon ghost it, th- this is theoretical it doesn't matter oh, it, so it, for it, all intents and purposes he's alive it's fine yeah, alive. yeah this isn't like a pitch that they should do this oh okay um, but like because you need all I think you need all you of need them all for them. it to work yeah and but like so, Egon and Re- and uh, Bankman don't want to do it, and Winston um, does want to do it. So Winston and Ray sneak in, and they let the ghosts they they like do an inventory of all the ghosts that they've ever caught, and they realize that like there's probably at least three or four innocent like a parole ones. hearing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. So they bring them in one at a time out of the machine. And they have to they have to build um Oh that's perfect, yeah. yeah. So Egon has Al to build Capone's ghost because I was like, Yeah, I feel like I've reformed, see? <laughs> I can be a real asset to society, see? <laughs> and it's like them is sitting on a panel like Wes Anderson framed and they're just like, No. No. <laughs> uh Oh that's perfect. Yeah, this is fantastic. Uh we're six still, minutes six and 27 minutes. seconds. Oh my god, and you're still the only one in the lobby. And, and I have confirmed that all of the internet is working just fine. Yeah, it's just, it's just fine. Um, so I don't like to toss around the phrase dead game. But <laughs> if, uh, if the shoe fits... <laughs> it's a real shame because I like this game. It was a good I, game. I enjoyed this. Yeah. But this is the problem, again, with paying money for always online live service things. And that's if a uh, if 400,000 people don't also decide to pay that money and continue playing it forever, uh, that's just going to go away in 2 months and it's not going to be a game anymore. Yeah. Like let me try 
What is what is this one? Survivor team play. What's the difference? Oh, do you have people? I think you'd have to be in a party for that one. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, have yeah. To invite yeah, people? yeah you do. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Well, our playthrough is over. Oh, perfect timing. All right. For nothing to happen here exactly. on Resident Evil. Oh, poor Resident Evil Survivor. We hardly knew ye. I knew it a good bit. You can read my review on ScreenRant.com. And, and we will. Uh, of, of, and if you want or are interested in the game, that's the only way you'll find out about it, mm -hmm. apparently, because uh, nobody's playing it. Oh, look, it says umbrella credits can be used to buy weapons or surprise. I wonder how much money umbrella credits cost. <sighs> I bet they cost some amount of money. Probably more than they're actually worth. Not as much as a V-Buck. You see the thing where the people that are doing class action lawsuits against uh I did see that. They're gonna get paid in V Bucks. <laughs> uh, that is dystopian future bullshit to the max. Here's your five hundred atoms. Help, help us take down Apple because we broke our contract and we will pay you in fake money in the video game you already pay us money for. That's insanity. <laughs> But it's insane. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's the world we live in. It's it's the world we spend money to live in, and it's the one we choose to continue to live in, until we are ghosts, ready to be busted. Good night, everybody. See ya.